The investigators say this man here, he seriously cut another man's arm on December 8th at his home on South Reynolds Street. A warrant for assault has been issued for Carolus, and police say he fled after the assault and knows that police are looking for him. Investigators say he's known to carry a knife and is considered to be dangerous. So if you see him, police say don't approach, just call 911. And happening today, this is swearing-in day for Capital Region lawmakers, both on the state and federal levels. The ceremony is scheduled for 2 this afternoon in the New York State Assembly Chamber at the Capitol. And Representative Paul Tonko, State Senator Neil Breslin, and Assembly Members Patricia Fahey, Angelo Santa Barbara, Phil Steck, John McDonald, all taking part. Assembly Member-elect Carrie Warner was sworn in during a separate ceremony about an hour and a half ago. No pay raises for state lawmakers could lead to some awkward moments for Governor Cuomo. Our political analyst, Fred Dicker of the New York Post, is reporting today that members of the legislature are considering a boycott of Cuomo's inauguration this Thursday and his State of the State address next week as well. Fred writes that members on both sides of the aisle are talking about snubbing the governor because he did not help them secure that pay raise for the first time in 16 years. Also happening today, remembering a giant in local legal circles. Calling hours are scheduled for this evening in Troy for retired Judge John Casey. He passed away Christmas Day at the age of 93. The wake will be held at the Clinton Funeral Home on Washington Street from 4 until 8. The funeral itself is scheduled for tomorrow. And happening tonight, a code blue goes into effect at 7 o'clock in Saratoga Springs. The code blue Saratoga shelter is located at the Salvation Army building. That's on Woodlawn Avenue. And anyone without a home or a need can go there to stay warm when the temperature drops. No questions asked. The code blue will remain in effect for the next three days. Right now, shelter organizers say they could use some help, though. If you're interested in volunteering, you can head to CBS6Albany.com. We have all the information there on how you can help out.